Welcome to this session. This session, we are going to solve a problem on determination of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. A matrix that is not symmetric. <coughs> so remember, <coughs> an asymmetric matrix is a matrix which is the same as its transpose. But for this case, the kind of matrix we're going to deal with is uh, not obeying that property that the transpose of the matrix is not the same as the matrix itself. So let's discuss the solution for this. So eigen values is the first task. And you get eigen values by solving a minus lambda i determinant is equal to zero. Now, because we are dealing with a three by three matrix, so our identity matrix will be a matrix of the three. So that means determinant of minus two minus lambda, two minus three, two, one minus lambda, minus six, minus one, minus two, zero minus lambda should be zero. Now we get the determinant by expanding along the first row and the sign of this element is usually positive. This sign is negative, this sign is positive. The assumption here is that you know how to determine determinant of a three by three matrix. So I'll have minus two minus lambda, the determinant of one minus lambda. So I delete this whole column, minus six, and then minus two minus lambda, minus two, determinant of two minus one, <coughs> minus six minus lambda, minus plus minus is minus three, determinant of two minus one, one minus lambda minus two should give me zero. Now I'll have minus two minus lambda into this by this I'll have lambda squared minus lambda. This minus two times minus six is positive 12. So minus 12 minus two into minus two lambda minus six minus three into minus four. Now plus one minus lambda equals to zero. Because I'll have minus four minus minus one into one minus lambda. So minus minus is plus. So minus four minus uh, plus one, then minus lambda. So this will be minus two lambda squared plus two lambda plus 24 <coughs> minus lambda cubed plus lambda squared plus 12 lambda plus four lambda plus 12 plus 12 minus three and then plus three lambda equals to zero. Now let's collect terms in. So let's collect like terms. So we'll have minus lambda cubed those for lambda squared, they have minus two this term, and then one. <coughs> so we get negative one. So this negative lambda squared, and then those in lambda, we have two, and then plus 12, plus four, and then plus three. 
that gives us 21. So plus 21 lambda. Those constants, we have 24, and then we have 12, and then we have 12, and then minus three. So we have 24, 12, 12, and then minus three. That gives us positive 45 equals to zero. Now we can divide through by negative one to get lambda cubed plus <coughs> lambda squared minus 21 lambda minus 45 equals to zero. Now this is cubic equation. Now there is no formula for factorizing cubic, but then we can use trial and error to find if there's a factor using this constant term. So we have minus 45. So you write the factors of this number. So plus minus one, plus minus three, plus minus five, plus minus nine, plus minus 15, then plus minus 45 itself. Then by trial and error, you try to replace these factors into the equation and see whether the equation is satisfied. If you are lucky, you'll get one that works. So if you try one, so one plus one is two, two minus 21 minus 45, obviously it cannot give us zero. Minus one, this will be minus one plus one, zero plus 21 minus five. Also that will not work. If we try three, so we'll have three cubed plus three squared minus 21 times three minus 45. So three cubed is nine plus three, uh, three cubed is 27. So 27 plus nine minus 21 times three minus 45. That's minus 72, so that will not work. Negative three, so negative three. So raised power three plus square minus 21 and then minus 45 gives us zero. So minus three cubed plus minus three squared minus 21 minus three minus 45. This is minus 27 minus nine minus minus is plus 63 minus 45. So you'll have 63 minus 27 minus nine minus 45, so that's why we have, <coughs> so this is minus three times minus 21, that's 63, so minus three base power three, that's minus 27, and then minus three squared is nine, so this is, this sign is this plus. So this is plus. So we'll the same as 63 plus 9 minus 27 minus 45. This gives you 0. So which means lambda equals to minus 3 is a root to this equation. And saying lambda minus 3 equals to minus 3 is a root. Imply, uh, implies uh, is a root to the equation, let me call star, implies that lambda take minus three will be now plus three is a factor of what we have on the left hand side, lambda cubed plus lambda squared 
minus 21 lambda minus 45. Now what you do, you use long division to get how many times lambda plus three divides this. So you write lambda cubed plus lambda squared minus 21 lambda minus 45 lambda plus three lambda times which value to give lambda cubed is lambda squared. So lambda cubed lambda squared times three is three lambda squared. Then you subtract. <coughs> so we get lambda cubed minus lambda cubed zero. Lambda squared minus three lambda squared is minus two lambda squared. You bring minus 21 lambda minus 45. So what do you multiply by lambda to get minus two lambda squared? That should be minus two lambda. So this minus two lambda squared, and this would be minus six lambda. You still subtract. So this will be zero minus 21 minus minus six is minus 21 and then plus six. That is minus 15 lambda. You bring 45. So you need to multiply lambda by minus 15 to get this value. So you write here minus 15. So this will be minus 15 lambda. Minus 15 times positive three is minus 45. And when you subtract, this will give you zero. So therefore, uh, lambda cubed plus lambda squared minus 21 lambda minus 45 is the same as lambda plus three times lambda squared minus two lambda minus 15. Now this is quadratic. So let's see if we can factorize it. So product is minus 15, sum is minus two. Numbers whose product is minus 15, sum minus two is minus five and three. So we'll have lambda squared minus five lambda plus three lambda minus 15. So common here is lambda into lambda minus five plus three into lambda minus five. So here we have lambda plus three lambda minus five. So therefore we have lambda cubed plus lambda squared minus 21 lambda minus 45 is lambda plus three. And this one has already given us lambda plus three times lambda minus five. This should be zero. This one clearly tells us that the value of, so which means that lambda one is minus three, lambda two is minus three, and lambda three is five. Put each of these linear terms to zero. So we have a repeated roots lambda one equals to lambda two equals to minus three. Now, again, vectors is the next thing. So starting with lambda one equals to lambda two equals to minus, uh, minus three, we have, let u, be the eigenvector be given by x1, x2, x3. Then we need to satisfy this equation whereby lambda is minus three. So the matrix A is given by minus two, two, minus three, two, one, 
minus six, minus one, minus two, zero. You multiply by x1, x2, x3 equals to lambda is minus three, x1, x2, <coughs> x3. <coughs> now, uh, this means that minus two x1 plus two x2 minus three x3, two x1 plus x2 minus six x3 minus x1 minus two x2 as this j zero x3 will be zero equals to minus three x1 minus three x2 minus three x3. And for this equality to make sense, then minus two x1 plus two x2 minus three x3 should be minus three x1. And the second one should be two x1 plus x2 minus six x3 equals to minus three x2. And this one will be minus x1 minus two x2 equals to minus three x3. <coughs> now from the first equation, we have, take this to the right hand side, we'll have x1, take this to the left hand side, we'll have x1 equals to minus two x2 plus three x3. This one tells us that if we check everything to the right hand side, we'll have two x1 equals to minus x minus four x two and then plus six x three dividing through by two x one equals to minus two x two plus three x three the same thing as from equation one and this one tells us that <coughs> similarly x So take this one to the right and then take this to the left. So minus two X two plus three X three. So we'll see that all those three equations have the same relationship. So we'll say let X two to be S and X three to be T where S and T are real numbers, not all zero at the same time. So, so that we eliminate the possibility of having a zero vector. So that means that the U vector will be given by X1, X2, X3. So X1 is given by when you say x2 is s, x3 is t, then uh, that means that x1 will be minus 2s plus 3t. So x1 you put minus 2s plus 3t. s2 you put s, x3 you put t. Which you can write as minus two s s zero plus three t zero t so separating s values and t values <coughs> which you can say 
u is this one will be minus two one zero times s and then plus this is three zero one and then t now you see we have two linearly independent solutions we have minus two one zero and three zero one so when we let uh, if s equals to t equals to one then we'll have u being minus two one zero and then plus three zero one this will give you one one and one it's just a possibility but then since this vector if we call this one now u1 and this vector u2 since u1 and u2 are linearly independent then we can choose u1 to be this vector here minus two one zero and u2 to be the vector three zero one so those are the vectors which corresponds to the eigen value lambda equals to three but you see another person can as well do the same problem differently we saw that the relationship we had x1 equals to minus 2x2 two two and then plus 3x3 This is not the only way of doing the same problem. Another person can decide to make, say, x3 subject. So you say that 3x3 equals to x1 plus 2x2, and then says that x3 will be, x3 will be a third x1 plus 2 over 3x2. And so he fixes. Uh, let x1 to be s and x2 to be t so we will have u to be given by x1 x2 x3 and then with this fixing it means that x3 will be a third s plus 2 over 3 t so you write x1 is s, x2 is t, and x3 you write a third s plus 2 over 3 t. So which will be s0, a third s, plus 0, t, 2 over 3 t. And then this you write it as u equals to one zero a third s plus zero one two over three t. Remember this you pick s and t such so that all of them do not give you zero vector and says when. 
so this would be your u1 this would be your u2 vector so when s is 3 then u1 will be the vector so we're multiplying everything by 3 here so we'll have 3 0 1 so you are say s is 3 and then say t is 0 and say s 0 and t equals to 3 this part will give you u2 to be the vector 0 3 and then this is 2 so this can be another set u1 3 0 1 and u2 0 3 2 so these eigenvectors are not unique so even if you make x to the subject you also have a different expression and lastly for lambda equals to five we have a u three equals to lambda three u three is the eigenvalue eigenvector relation so a matrix is minus two two minus three two one minus six minus one minus two zero so let this one be x1 x2 x3 equals to 5 x1 x2 x3 and this now will give us minus 2 x1 plus 2 x2 minus 3 x1 equals 5 x1 so this implication from that <coughs> this matrix equation and then 2 x1 plus x2 minus 6 x3 is 5 x2 minus x1 minus 2 x2 equals to 5 x3 which tells us that from this one, taking this one to the right, we'll have 2x2 two two minus 3. I remember this is 3. So 2x2 two two minus 3x2 is equals to bring this to the right so have seven oh, let me just start from the bottom equation so this implies that x1 is equals to minus 2x2 two two, and then minus 5x3 and then from this one if you take you'll have 2x1 equals to 5 so 5x2 two minus x2 two is 4x2 minus six x3 so this one means x1 divided through by two will be two x2 minus three x3 and then from this one take this to the right we'll have three x1 equals two 2x2 two two, and then minus 3x3. Three three. So it tells you that x3 will be 2x1, will be 2 over 3x2 minus x3.
So from this, remember this 2x1, and then so taking this one to the right hand side, this will be 3. Because we'll have now 2x1, you fix this, taking this one to the right, will be this will be 4. And then this will be just a minute. So let's simplify this one a step by step. So 2x2, 2x1 equals to 5x2. And then this would be minus x2. And this would be plus, plus 6x3. So it tells us that uh, this will give us 2x1 equals to 5 minus 1 is 4. And then plus 6x3. Which gives us, uh, which implies dividing through by 2x1 is given by 4x2 plus uh, 2x2 plus uh, this will be plus 3x3. Now this equation three, this equation two. So even from three and two, we can equate those equations because they are expressing value of x1. So uh, two equals to three, because all of them are defining x1. So you say 2x2 plus 3x3 equals to minus 2x2 <coughs> minus 5x3. So bring this to the left, you have 4x2 equals to minus 5x3 bring this one to the right, minus 3x3. So 4x2 equals to minus 8x3, from which x2 is minus 2x3. And so x1 from this equation two will be 2x2, And then uh, I'll say, where does x2 put minus 2x3? So this would be 2 into where does x2 put minus 2x3, and then plus 3x3. So this will be minus 4x3 plus 3x3, which will be minus x three. And so when we let x three to be t, where t is any non-zero real number, this implies x one will be minus one uh, minus t because uh, is minus x3 and x2 <coughs> would be given by minus 2t. So therefore the u3 vector will be x1, x2, x3, which will be given by x1, I put minus t, x2, I put minus 2t, x3 I put t which would be minus 1 minus 2 1 and then times t t is a non-zero scalar and you can be specific and say at t equals to when t equals to 1 then u3 
would be given by minus one, minus two, or one. Another person can say when t equals negative one, then u3 will be given by, so one, two, minus one. All of them are still okay. It depends on how you have fixed your three variables. Because when you say you fix x3, in this equation you have at, uh, this point here. Just to, to explain that all these two actually are correct is from this point here, when we say x1 equals to minus x3, and then I fixed x3 to be t. You see, you can as well interpret the same thing as saying x3 is the same as minus x1. And so you fix x1. So when x1 is t, then x3 is minus t. Or when you fix x3 for t, x1 is minus t. So whichever way you fix them, all the two unders are still acceptable. So that's how we solve that problem. Thank you.